So you think you want to wait, part two. If you tuned in before, we talked about rates, all right? This time we're gonna talk about wealth building through real estate. So I get this question a lot. How do I build wealth through real estate? All right, so I found three main reasons of how you build wealth through real estate. A typical homeowner is 45 times wealthier than a renter. Why? One is appreciation. So you think you want to wait a year for the interest rate to maybe go down 1%? Well, at that same time, a house would have appreciated 5%. So there's a 4% gap that you're missing out on in there just from simply living in the house and making payments on it. All right, so let's say the house doesn't appreciate at all and you're paying down principal. Okay, you're going to be making payments on the house every month and you're gonna pay down the principal. For a $300,000 loan, typically you pay down about $10,000 a year in principal. And at the same time, you may wait a year and that house may be $15,000 more while you're not paying anything down, which is a $25,000 swing. The third reason would be a mortgage interest deduction. Now always consult your accountant, but most can deduct a portion, all, some of their mortgage interest that they pay every year against their taxes to get more money back or to uh, minimize what they owe in taxes for the year. Okay, so those three things combined help you to build wealth through real estate, and that is why we find it as the fastest vehicle to accumulate wealth. All right, tune in to part three. This is the important one. We're gonna talk about rentals, all right? See you.